guys and welcome to today's video. It is about six o'clock. Um, I'm fixing to start working on dinner. I got the hamburger meat thawing out. I'm gonna make some hamburger steaks with gravy, mashed potatoes, and either broccoli or green beans or corn or something like that. I don't know. I'll decide when I get to cooking it. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Justin to get home. He didn't say what time he got off. He didn't go in until 9.30 today. Um, but I thought it was because he had overtime. I didn't ask him or anything why he was going in at a different time. But um, so I'm not really sure, but I guess maybe it was because they wanted him to actually go like work until six so that he knows what it's like to work till six because I'm sure there's different things they do at 6 p.m. because that's when the shift changes. So he's probably just having to work till then to, um, you know, see how that goes and get the hang of that. So that's what I'm assuming. I don't know, but hopefully he'll be here soon. It is his last day and then he'll have two days off over the weekend. So I'm really excited and happy about that. And I cannot wait. Hopefully the days go by slow, which I doubt will happen because every day seems to go so freaking fast. But anyways, I just wanted to get the video started. I am going to start working on dinner. All right, guys, we had our dinner. It was pretty good, if I do say so myself. I added onion and bell pepper to the hamburger steak meat. Um, and it was really good that way. But anyways... That was good, and now we're on our way to CVS and Walmart because Justin, is, his tooth is bothering him really, really bad, and um, he's gonna, he's just going to start taking the antibiotics again because, I mean, it's the weekend, and then he works Monday through Friday, so he's just going to start taking them again, and hopefully that wasn't what was hurting his stomach, but I guess we'll find out again. Um, but until those antibiotics kick in, he's going to be in pain, so we're trying to find something that's going to help us pain a little bit he's been taking ibuprofen but it helps like for a little bit and then it just the pain just comes right back so it doesn't really work that great so we're gonna see if they have anything like more specific to tooth pain in here cvs didn't have what we we're looking for so on to walmart okay guys we're actually at united which is a grocery store but they have like a pharmacy and i looked at this video one time because justin was having tooth pain like a long time ago and this guy showed this thing that he bought and he said it works in like three seconds it takes all your pain away so I've Anyways. never seen another one. Like I'm, yeah. big, I'm big into looking at what medications Oops, sorry, are to try to get the cheaper shit, you know. Uh -huh. Or you know, like, I don't know. anyways, like it, all these ones have. Yeah, there's all these different the ones. Benzocaine. Every one of them. Yeah. Have benzocaine. And, and they don't one, help him. But this one, this is the one that he recommended, and everybody left a comment like praising this guy, saying he was amazing for helping them find this. So hopefully, it's only five forty nine, so it's so worth buying just to see if it well, would work. I mean, just these are like... Yeah. But just in case any of you are having toothache pain, this guy recommended this, so we'll let you know if it works. But supposedly, you put it on your tooth, and in three seconds, the pain goes away. That's what he said, so... I'm just happy we found it, because hopefully it works. And for five fifty, like, come on, can't beat that. But we're going to try it, and like I said, we'll let you guys know. In case you're having teeth pain. Active ingredient is eugenol, by the way. Yeah. Maybe you can, if you don't find that, maybe you can find something with that in it. I don't know. But we're going to let you know if it's any good. All right, guys. So we went to the house. Justin put that on his tooth. And what are the results? I can't even put my tooth. <laughs> I mean, that's good, right? It's numb the fuck out of me. Like, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it works. Yeah. And I like. And I, Justin has, like, I mean, everyone has awful teeth pain if you have bad teeth or you know just tooth pain but like there's been times where he literally like wanted to just blow my brains out that sounds awful yeah. I, and i'm not taking anything lightly about that but like like literally he's been yeah. in such bad pain that he said that he just wanted to like end it yeah. like and that's scary that's that's crazy to me like i don't know and like i had i've had teeth pain like oh like more than half of my life yeah. so like i know like it but there was one specific time when i remember that pain and it was it was getting close to it i mean yeah. it wasn't that bad but it was like i could see like in maybe a week's time or something like yeah. that i would be there yeah and he was like he's like we gotta go find something to make it stop because i can't keep going it, like it drives you crazy else. like it, they say teeth pain is worse than like giving labor like naturally without medications like crazy like I've, i'm lucky that i've never i mean i've had cavities but i just go get them fixed you know my parents always took me to the dentist to get them fixed and then i've only i think i've only had a couple cavities since we've been together 
and Justin took me to get it fixed, and it's, it was like up here on the, on the top left side, but other than that, I haven't had to have anything done. I've been really lucky and blessed with my teeth that I have, so. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I couldn't go through it. I couldn't imagine Like, it. and it's not just your tooth either. Like, yeah, it's okay, like the so nerves. Like, this one's turns the back. <laughs> so, like, it hurts all the way up your, your side ear. of your face into your ear, and then your head starts hurting. Yeah. Like, so, like, that's where I, I'm at. Like, and the only thing you can really do, like, to even help just a tiny little bit is, like, shove your face into a pillow. Like, like put pressure on it? Yeah. And then, like, try to not breathe in any, any like, cool air or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cold last night, and he kept waking up because, you know, you sleep with your mouth open, and so he'd be breathing in cold air, and he kept waking up. It's like, crazy, but... Like, I don't take pain pills, like, ever. Like, only whenever I've had to get pain. And, like, that time that we were telling you about whenever it was really bad, like, they, the, I had called, like, for an emergency, like, visit to the, um, dentist. dentist, got in, he, he gave me hydrocodons, and they were, like, 7.5, 3.5s or whatever, and then, um, so I took one of those, waited, like, an hour and a half, it never touched me, took another one, waited, like, another hour, didn't do anything, waited yeah. and then waited another hour and I wasn't supposed to take them like this like I'm a nurse like and yeah. so like I mean but when you're I, that I, and you're in pain that much you're it. just desperate so to I took find like something. three or four it within like four or five hours before it finally hit me and it finally yeah. got some relief so in other words this stuff actually works because if he says that it numbed his tooth and like he's not in pain right now then it actually works because he knows tooth pain so um yeah, this is what it looks like again, if you guys are curious. It's, it just comes with a little bottle of, like, oil. It's called Eugenol Oil. Let me see how you spell it. E-U-G-E-N-O-L. E um, and then it comes with a little box of cotton swabs um, that you soak the, the gel in and then stick it on your tooth. So. But, yeah, he put it in there for, like, 30 seconds, and it was good. It says to leave it in. You can leave it in for a minute. Um, but, yeah. I'm really happy that that worked for him. We're going to see how long it lasts. Hopefully it'll last at least like, you know, a few hours at a time. That's what I get for drinking all those Dr. Peppers, guys. <laughs> yeah. And not going to the dentist when you're supposed to. Yearly, at least. So. I'll go yearly. Go to the I dentist, just don't ever guys. have the money to get anything taken care yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But anyways, like we said, we'll keep you updated on it. Like how long it lasts and stuff like that. But, yeah, we're just happy that it worked. On another note, though, guys, today it was freaking 70 degrees, right? Well, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night is supposed to be, like, 16 degrees, which is cold. But then Sunday night is supposed to be, like, 6. 6 freaking degrees. Texas weather is out of its mind. Especially, like, like between the winter and spring, in between those months, like, when they're kind of fixing the transition over to spring. Texas loses its mind, like, or I guess Mother Nature loses her mind, <laughs> and it gets crazy, but anyways, I just couldn't believe that it was, like, so warm today, where you could be out hanging outside, doing whatever, working outside, and then two days later, it's six degrees. I'm not ready for Monday, because it's getting yeah. cold as shit. Yeah. I'm not going to be out working today. Yeah. That sucks. I feel really bad for people that work out in the like outside most of the days or you know a lot of like like police officers and nurses and doctors and everybody like that they you know they can't take off when it's when weather's bad when most people you know they can take off or they'll just close their store or whatever but emergency people like that they don't have that option they still have to go to work so I'm thankful for those people because I wouldn't want to be out doing that. I feel real bad for like the electricians and stuff like that. Cause yeah, like, them too. Yeah. Like they had this tapping. They're all like on call all the time. Yeah. And like as soon as a storm happens or like electricity or something goes out, they have to go out and do it. Like in the middle of the storm or whatever. Yeah. Like they have to go out and fix try to get everybody fixed up and back on. But yeah, that's crazy. We're lucky I guess in a way. Well, Justin does work in the medical field, but it's not like, I don't know. There's more demanding nursing jobs than the ones that oh, he's yeah. had. Like but a, like a hospital or anything. Yeah. But anyways. I think we're going to end the video here, guys, because 
we're gonna go get Justin home and cozy in bed and see him get some sleep maybe because this like we said hopefully this lasts throughout the night so that he can get some good sleep but we'll let you know probably in tomorrow's video but um yeah hope you guys understand this video was probably really boring just us talking about teeth but it is what it is so thank you guys so much for watching we hope you enjoyed it we'll see you guys tomorrow